today, let's walk through the payroll entry process. To enter time, we'll simply go to My Payrolls, Time Entry. Here, you'll see all the open payrolls that we can edit. Once we click on the payroll number, we will see all the hours and employees within this payroll. You'll see all your pay codes along the top. If you don't see one that you need, simply click on the employee name and you'll have access to all pay codes assigned to your organization. On the detailed timesheet entry, we're also able to break down hours by different organizational levels, such as position, department, or location. Once we're done entering time on the detailed timesheet, click return and we're taken back to the original timesheet. Entering time here is really simple. Tab through the different cells and enter time for a specific employee. As you tab through, all your changes are saved. Over here on the right, we can add different information for employees. For example, if we need to look at an employee's override scheduled payment, here's where we can enter that information or edit what's already in the system. The same goes for a scheduled deduction. Here, you'll see that this employee has a one-time payment listed. If you're using the leave request module, you'll also see that any pending leave requests show up here in red. Be sure to click on this and then accept the changes to update the timesheet. Now you'll see that this employee has their eight hours of PTO recorded. You can certainly use the notes function to remind yourself of anything regarding this particular payroll. Lastly, you see the silhouette of the employee. This will allow you to jump directly to the employee detail page and enter any final changes you might need before payroll is processed. This allows you to gather information about the employee without actually leaving the timesheet. If you have several pages of employees, Simply use the arrow buttons below to scroll through your pages. Now let's go through some of the icons here at the top. We have the ability to hide or display additional pay codes on the timesheet using the I icon here. Simply click the icon and select or unselect the pay codes you wish to see. Once you have your desired effect, simply click the eye again. This will hide the pay codes and allow for a more simplified view. If you're looking for specific analytics regarding the payroll, click here and you'll see different charting options. You can also run a report that will display the time that's been entered thus far. You can certainly select sorting options or run as is and export into either Excel or a PDF option. You can also use the search icon to allow you to find a specific employee's record on the timesheet. Lastly, we can filter by different group levels. Let's say we just want to enter time for the California location. We can apply this filter, and then we're only given California employees to enter or review time. Once we've finished all time entry, simply click Finalize. This will notify your dedicated service team that all time has been entered and is ready for processing.